Hi everyone. Today I want to share with you、uh, this small vlog, which is also a recap from my recent travels to Da Lat and Saigon. In this trip, we will drink a lot of coffee. We'll go do many touristy stuffs. Do a little bit of、uh, street photography in Saigon, and、uh, also play soccer with the locals in Saigon.、Uh, I hope you enjoy it. As a coffee lover, I was always interested in the origins of these beans. As it turns out, Da Lat is a coffee-growing region in Vietnam, and a special one at that too. With an elevation of up to 1,500 meters, or almost a mile high in freedom units, Da Lat has the conditions to grow specialty coffee. Also known as Arabica、oh. coffee. Cafe bắt đầu về Đà Lạt. Khá Đà Lạt, khá Đà Lạt, khá Đà Lạt. The first thing that we did after getting here was. To rent a scooter, and of course,、uh, we got our first coffee of the day at this very cool coffee shop with a very nice view. Hello, one. Next. We rode for about forty minutes to get to Mr. Sun's farm. Ah, trước đây là Sun, nha. Lúc là chủ trại trại hoặc là order order gì cũng được. Đó, thì trên này chúng sẽ làm cái tour này với các con. Đó là cái phần visit tour để nói về các hương vị của cà phê được xuất phát từ đâu này. At his farm. We were offered to taste some of his specialty coffee that was grown directly in his garden. Nó sẽ có rất là nhiều cái mùi hoa, mùi các loại trái cây. Cái này dùng chiếc tách thô và cái này sẽ thấy mùi hoa, vị của các loại trái cây hơi giống đào, hơi giống táo. Uh, hậu vị của nó ngọt nhưng hơi giống blueberry. Nhưng nữa, xong phải đợi cái after test ấy. We were even offered to choose some of these coffee beans as if they were candies. Nó thơm lắm. Như nào như nào như nào. Gật là như nào. Bùn hương vị. Bỏ hết nó về nhà đi người ta làm kẹo mà bên nhật cũng làm. While the rain was getting heavy outside, Mr. Sun shared his vast coffee knowledge with us as we sip on some delicious coffee. So cold. Mùi nho táo đào, à nhá, mùi dâu tây phú quân tử, có vị. Bám đi, không có chỗ chân đấy. After that, we got to visit his coffee garden. And check some of his most prized coffee trees, which were the、uh, Pacamara and the、uh, Mundo Novo. The Mundo. The Mundo Novo. Có mùi whisky ở trong đó, chẳng hạn như vậy. Then we got up to drink some of his coffee fruit pop tea, which was like tea made from the pulp of the coffee fruit. And I bought some of his coffee as souvenir. Now, to be honest, I wasn't 
connoisseur enough to uh, appreciate all the cool things that were shown to me. What the dog doing? However, I still really enjoyed the uh, craftsmanship as well as his passion for coffee, which was really contagious. So, I thought it was an afternoon well spent. There. Later, B and I went to the Baodai Palace, which was the uh, residence of uh, the last emperor of Vietnam. Okay, okay. Do that. Yeah, bye. Yeah. Do you like to live in this house? Go there. Go there. Go Ohio with Kia. He didn't join us because apparently he wanted a nap, so we went alone. It was a really fun session, nonetheless, as we uh, imagine ourselves as emperors who are living a lavish lifestyle. And to end the first day, we had some ski yaki at this place, which was also a film photography store. So we start the day with some shumai bang mi. Review, đánh giá đi. Since I had a lot of fun the previous day at Mr. Sun's garden. I decided to visit one of his uh, actual coffee stores. We ordered two iced coffee, one made with the uh, pacamara beans and the other made with uh, the Mundo Nuvo. Uh, as you can see, they're dripping coffee over ice and this was really curious for me because usually I just dump ice into my coffee or vice versa. So I'm not sure if there's any actual benefits to uh, doing it this way. The Pacamara has a uh, brighter taste and somewhat sweeter aftertaste to it, while the uh, Mundo Nuvo is more uh, citrusy and uh, fruity. It feels a little bit darker. Personally, I like the Pacamara more.
Welcome to the Gaudati Valley. It's an interesting place. Here, as you can see, everywhere is tea trees, and there's all these massive wind turbines everywhere. There's definitely a cool contrast between all these old primitive tea farming versus the uh, high tech and modernness of all these wind farming. The whole time that I was there, I felt that there's just something that's out of place with uh, all these wind turbines. So I thought this was definitely the place for people who love to do landscape photography or, you know, concept photography. Since it was getting kind of wet and gloomy and rainy, uh, we decided to head back to the city. The ride back home was pretty miserable. But now that I look back at these clips, they do look kind of cinematic. What the dog doing? At the end of the day, since it was raining a lot, we decided to just hang out around the city center, check out this uh, Dalat market, and uh, take some pictures. We also got ourselves some avocado ice cream. I gotta tell you, they were really delicious. You gotta try them out. Bing Chiling! And then we headed straight to the uh, Lien Kung Airport to uh, catch up with our flight to Saigon. So yeah, see ya Dalat. I start by just walking around the Cholun area where there were a lot of vendors. It's pretty cool to pay attention to their expressions and see how people interact with each other, which is something that I often overlook. Since it was raining on and off every 5 minutes of the whole day, I tried to take as many pictures as possible walking on the street and find cover every time it rains or just go up to the buildings and see the lives up there. By the way, check out these old community housing buildings. There are a bunch of such types of buildings in Hanoi, but the style is obviously very different.
you probably have heard something like how life is slower in Hanoi, where it's super fast and hustling in Saigon. While it sounds kind of like a stereotype, I think it's、uh, somewhat true. Even though I have lived here before,、uh, now that I come back, I am still surprised by how busy it is here. I thought like it was pretty crowded in Hanoi, but here is probably ten times more than that. I try to capture some of that essence on the back of the、uh, grab bike ride share.、Um, you know, I just sit on the back of a bike and point my camera towards the crowd and take pictures. Um, I'm gonna show you some of those here. On our last two days here in Saigon, we wanted to just chill out and be some tourist. We went to the Ho Chi Minh City Museum because mainly we didn't have a lot to do, and、um, since it was right in the city center, we thought we could just you know hang out there until lunch time where we could get some food. Lin. <laughs> Kylian Mbappe. Kylian Mbappe. This bumbo clot dog, I am. Cause this man, I wake up good enough. Give me a good blood clot dog. What kind of little bumbo clot dog this am I give? In case we bark loud, a blood clot. In case we defend me, I mean, come off of my bumbo clot team. Um, we also went to the、uh, Tao Kong Vien Zoo because. You know, we want to say hi to the animals there, I guess. And afterwards, we also went to the、uh, Independence Palace because you know that's what tourists do. It's pretty cool to be in there and check out all the interiors, go to all the rooms, and imagine what life was back then. Because you know, obviously, it was an important part of our history. And in the end, we went to play a soccer game with、uh, some of my friends in Saigon. B and I, we managed to score some pretty good goals, so it was a pretty good time. That's pretty much it. If you watched up to this point, thank you very much, and、um, yeah. More stuff to come on this channel. Stay tuned. Thank you. Bye.